What's red? And bad for your teeth. A brick. You don't want that to your teeth. That came from my dentist. Who am I and why is this possibly the best end cap in the world for these bikes? Well, I know. Fooled ya. Look, I even get to take this thing off now. Although I have five more months of recovery left, I don't have to wear it all the time. But I wear it when I go out because old ladies give me sympathy and cookies and stuff. So I like that. So I'm Dave from the Best Tool Sport Bikes and this end cap that we sell made by the Pennant Racing uh, is arguably the best end cap in the world for these EXEs, XFWs, uh, FEFES. Why? Well, because not only does it offer you all the performance gains of a slip-on muffler, uh, all the restrictions on these bikes are in the end cap. Now, look at this picture here, and you can see the restrictiveness between the stock end cap outlet and our outlet. Well, what do you think? Pretty constrictive, huh? It gets worse than that. I mean, that looked constrictive, but when you actually do the math on the outlet area on it, here to here is one and a half inches on, on ours. Now, our competition's end cap is the same. There's a, another place called Pro Motor Billet and or Fastway. They make a similar cap, and they have the exact same uh, outlet size, I believe, at one and a half inches, and the amount that it's constricted, you know, about an inch and a half's worth of time is the same, and we all use the same spark arrestor, so flow on their end cap and our end cap is, is actually the same. The performance game is the same, um, which is good to know. But here on the stock one, uh, you, if you added up the area of all these little holes here, you're looking at an outlet diameter of a half inch, which is pretty stinking bad. Now, if you knock these babies out, the outlet diameter on the stock one, like you would get on the off-road cap, is 1.1 inch. So it's better, it's still not close to there, but the other side of the constriction on the end cap is this side. So here, you can see how ours just goes into a wide open you know, bullet-shaped spark arrestor. This, you have your big plug on the end so nothing's getting through there and things have to squeeze around the core and then get through this part of the spark arrestor to still be confined to get out. And you can see those picks uh, a little bit better here. So but now you've pretty much understood how this is so restrictive. Now there's one last restriction in this uh, muffler on the stock ones. There's a perforated tube, a double coned perforated tube, which is in this area. And you can see that picture here. But that's absolutely no big deal because the Husqvarna race mufflers on their motocross bikes use that same perforated tube setup just located back here. Further, you can see them poke out if you're in the showroom floor or whatever. That's what they use to help control sound. Everybody has to do something to help control sound or they'll just be obnoxiously loud. Now, if you cut that out and you use one of our end caps, then you're well into the hundreds. So uh, an aftermarket muffler, FMF, Graves, Acropovic, they're probably not going to have that kind of deadening device in it, although you'd be amazed how many of them are starting to do things like that. But if they don't, they have to constrict it more at the end cap. So they'll have a smaller ID outlet, usually 1.4 inches or smaller, which is smaller than ours, and it would have a more confined tube for quite a long period of time, uh, and it's still the same sound constriction. So you're going to get it either way, and it really just depends on how much money you want to spend to get the same thing. So here's the stock end cap. It comes out easy. You just take the screws off. Um, you can notice the shape of it and also notice that the stock end cap, the angle of the outlet is designed to come underneath the turn signal and not burn it off. So that is actually the big difference between ours and our competitions. Uh, our competitions is double colored. So if somebody were to look at it like a somebody in New York, like a law official in New York, where you can't replace mufflers anymore, you have to leave them stock. Or if it was a forest ranger in California, different places where they're cracking down, they look, ooh, aftermarket, let's go take a look at that. Let's go check it for spark and Let's go give them a ticket because they've changed things, right? So the end cap that we've designed is very similar 
to the stock one in looks and profile, and we've done that on purpose. So those same kind of people, we look at this go, eh, stock, no big deal. Look stock, KTM, stock muffler, good, you keep on going. The other side of it is, so we have that over the competition. The other side of it is we're the only ones that have the same angle of stock. We come underneath the turn signal. We're the only ones that won't burn off your turn signal. All aftermarket mufflers, other end caps are going to take this baby right off and it's just going to be hanging here, melted off. So if you want to keep the stock turn, turn signals, and a lot do, a lot of places are requiring you now to have bigger, bolder, more visible turn signals than just little things that you can stick on. So we're the only ones that allow you to use it. That's what makes this thing arguably the best end cap. It has all that stuff going for it. Nobody else has. And then we have a simple quiet insert as well. Slide it in, just bolt it in place, knock another decibel and a half off. Easy in and out, doesn't affect your spark arrestor setup, which is really nice. Uh, it's just discolored because it's been used, but Hey, you got it. This is the way to go. So thanks for watching. You can get these at the Best Dual Sport Bikes for $149.95, which actually is the lowest price, uh, even lower than the uh, Pro Motor Build stuff. If you're a dealer, a race shop, anybody that wants to get these things and be able to resell them, well, then you're going to want to go to Pin It and fill out the dealer application and get your discount and then start making money on these dudes. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Stupid thing. I hate this thing. It's like headgear for my arm. Hate it. This thing though, I like this. Hmm. What if there's any old rock bands that need a singer? <laughs>